Most Western gardeners probably know that seeds of many fruit trees, like apple trees and cherry trees, need to go through a dormancy period, often months, before germinating. In this video, I'm going to talk specifically about guava seeds. Wow. This could be of interest to so people cool. who are not familiar with guavas, but would like to grow a tree from the seeds of this amazing fruit. Viewers from tropical regions could also find this video interesting, as I will discuss a novel way to get guava seeds to germinate faster. And of course, this video is also for the electroculture and plasma enthusiasts in my viewership. I mainly propagate guavas from cuttings and rooting them in water. This is a reliable method with pros and cons. From a personal point of view, I must say though that I find growing from seeds more gratifying. I just need some motivation. That motivation came this year when I enjoyed a delicious guava from a local Asian grocery store. By the way, it is believed that guavas originate from Mexico and Central America, but they have also become a staple in other tropical and subtropical regions of Africa and Asia, for example. The thing with guavas is that many of them taste like cardboard, or are too small, or have too many hard seeds. The one I'm talking about was sweet with a strong guava flavor and fragrance, and it was big and juicy which make the hard seeds easier to swallow, literally. This was quite unexpected, so unexpected that I actually did not record a video of it. However, it was good enough for me to try to germinate its seeds late this fall, when the Canadian weather was about to get real nasty outside. Like many other fruit tree species, guava trees are not true to seed, so I do not expect getting the same fruits from my future guava seedlings. Heck, I don't even expect my guava trees to ever flower, or produce any fruits. I'm more in the mindset of trying to grow from seed what I enjoyed eating. By the way, guava leaves have interesting health benefits. Also, commercial nurseries grow guava trees from seeds in order to get strong quality rootstocks, onto which they graft scions from cultivars in demand by consumers. Depending on the varieties, the dormancy period of guava seeds can last up to 12 weeks. In tropical regions, that could be acceptable. But in temperate regions with short-term warm seasons, waiting for 12 weeks is not a practical option for many gardeners, even when starting the seeds indoors. In general, a seed dormancy period is related to two main processes, stratification and scarification. Stratification involves subjecting the seeds to colder or warmer temperatures, sometimes both. Many fruit trees grown in temperate climates with cold winters need the seeds to be called stratified, that is the case for apple and cherry seeds, for example. Scarification involves weakening or altering the coat of a seed to encourage germination. This process is necessary for seeds that are impervious to water and gases. The look and feel of a seed is not a definitive indicator about the need for scarification. For example, tough cherry pits do not typically require scarification, but tender apple seeds can benefit from scarification. Throwing an apple core into a compost bin in the fall takes care of both stratification and scarification. With guava seeds, the need for stratification and scarification depends on the varieties. But it is generally accepted that most guava seeds require scarification. Several research papers have been published on this topic, notably from India, which is by far the most important producer of guavas in the world, accounting for more than 40% of the global total production. For example, this 2018 paper, published in the International Journal of Economic Plants by an Indian team, shows that soaking guava seeds in room temperature water, in hot water, and in sulfuric acid solution increased germination. The best method was with a 20% sulfuric acid solution for 3 minutes, which resulted in a germination rate above 50%. The same team apparently also published a follow-up paper in 2020 in the Indian Journal of Agricultural Sciences, which showed germination rates of up to 72% with the stem soaking for 3 minutes in a 20% sulfuric acid solution. The paper also shows that germination times were also positively affected by all scarification methods. Interestingly, the team mostly attributed the increase in germination rates to the scarification process without mentioning any impact from a potential warm stratification process that could have occurred, although they also showed that soaking in water at 80 degrees Celsius not only improved germination, but also resulted in maximum seedling length. 
For gardeners, stratification in hot water is probably more practical than in sulfuric acid. However, note that with water temperatures above 80 degrees Celsius, guava seeds show poor germination, as well as poor vigor. So do not wait for the water to boil before throwing in the seeds. Before moving on to my plasma experiment, take a few seconds to like, subscribe and share with other people you know who may be interested in growing guava trees from seeds. Now back to my guava seeds. Usually grocery stores selling guavas do not indicate the cultivars. If you are lucky, you may find some stickers indicating the geographical provenance. Maybe there is an assumption that guava consumers are not as knowledgeable as apple or even mango consumers at least in Canada, where I'm located. I suspect the guava I really liked was a variety related to a Mexican cream guava cultivar, but I'm not sure. And without knowing the cultivar, it is difficult to figure out whether the seeds might benefit from warm or cold stratification, in addition to scarification. I did not soak the seeds in water. I just cleaned them and placed them in a wet paper towel inside a sealed plastic bag at room temperature of about 20 degrees Celsius. I checked the seeds once every two days, but after two weeks, the seeds had not germinated. That is when I decided to try to germinate them with the EHD plasma generator I introduced in previous videos. Note that I did not follow a scientific methodology with a control group, so what follows is only for information and entertainment purposes. First, I tried to place some seeds directly on the collector electrode below, but only a few of them stayed in place in the electric field. Besides, I wanted to plasma treat all the seeds I collected from the fruit I enjoyed to maximize the probabilities. So I eventually put the seeds back in the wet paper towel and treated the seeds with back and forth movements. That is not an ideal setup, because the paper towel decreases the ionization effect at the emitter electrode above. It also decreases the strength of the electric field between the two electrodes. Nevertheless, I was satisfied with the sound I was hearing from the EHD generator, kind of like judging the health of a car by listening to the purring sound from its motor engine. But I should have paid more attention when the purring slowly became a humming, as I would have avoided this. More on this catastrophic failure of my EHD plasma generator in another video. I was able to treat all the seeds with plasma for about a minute, I believe. After that, I placed the seeds in the wet paper towel back into the sealed plastic bag. But this time, I placed the bag above a baseball heater. After only two days, a few seeds had already germinated. I must say I was surprised by this. I waited for another two days before planting the germinated seeds in a small pot filled with garden soil. One week after the plasma treatment, all the seeds had germinated. When I say all, I really mean 100% or very close to that. Let me know in the comments if you spot any ungerminated seeds. There was no way I was going to be able to take care of all the germinated seeds. The germination rate was beyond my expectation, so I had to get rid of the majority of them. That is not something I'm used to with tropical fruit tree seeds. While I'm happy about this result, there is a possibility that the guava seeds were about to germinate anyway after two weeks with the wet paper towel inside the sealed plastic bag. The fact that the seeds germinated shortly after the plasma treatment and the exposure to warmer temperatures may just have been a coincidence. This underscores the importance of following a scientific method. However, this has never been my intent from the get-go. But maybe it would give someone the motivation to follow a more rigorous approach and why not publish a paper on germinating guava seeds with a plasma treatment. What I can say is that the plasma treatment was safe for the seeds probably safer than soaking them in boiling water. And any good scientist or medical doctor will probably agree with me about this principle. First, do no harm. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.